So you've heard about expected value before in this video series when we discussed odds and draws, but as you begin to get more experienced in online poker, expected value is going to have more and more relevance on your game rather than being just some abstract probability term. In its simplest definition, expected value is an averaged out result of a given action over time. As a reminder, expected value in poker is often referred to as the initialism EV. But if a particular play is being analyzed, it's going to be negative EV or positive EV. Now, of course, your poker playing strategy should include as much positive EV as you can master. Before we get to that, let's discuss a simple EV calculation that you can use to better understand more complex poker situations. So let's say you and your buddy always run this coin flip thing to see who buys the next round of beer. This time you choose tails, but it landed on heads, so you're buying. Man, that looks good. You also lose the next time, and the next two times after that. Sheesh, what a bad run. In reality, you don't really care about the bad run, though, because you know it's going to even out, right? We only had four flips here, but when you start adding beer after beer after beer, the probabilities of the coin flip are just going to end up rather much close to a 50-50 result. Sure, over five flips, you might have to buy four beer, but over 500 or 5,000 flips, you guys are going to be even, right? You'll never get the same result exactly, but averaged out, the results are going to be so close that two of you would consider this even odds, or expressed as one to one, which is mathematically as accurate as you can get when it comes to probability. So the result is one to one of a given action, the coin flip, over time in this case, which is 5,000 times. But wait now, let's say your buddy feels bad for you losing those four times in a row and says, hey, you know what, buddy, from now on, if I lose the toss, I will also buy chips with our beer. And if you lose the toss, you just keep buying our normal two beers. So, assuming you like chips, you instantly recognize this as a positive EV situation. Why? Well, let's do the numbers. Since we know our coin flip is one to one, and beer costs four bucks while the chips cost an extra buck, if we average it out over time, say a thousand flips, we will split the results between you and your friend. He buys 500 times for a total cost of 4,500, and you buy 500 times for a total cost of $4,000. Now, the total amount of value consumed by the both of you is 8,500, but you have only paid for 47% of it, while your buddy has paid for 53% of the chips and beer over time. Now that is a positive EV situation for you, especially if all you want from your buddy is a little more of his money. What your friend failed to recognize though is that EV is the expected value long term, so even though you bought four times in a row, he looked at the short term results, which can often be skewed. Remember it this way, short term results will normally vary, while long term results will invariably normalize. The short-term situation is referred to as variance, or, well, just plain luck, which can go either way. Your friend felt for you because of your run of bad luck, and you made him feel better by accepting his positive EV offer. Yeah, nice friend you are. With all this beer talk, you might have forgotten that we're actually talking about poker here, so let's take a look at an EV decision at the poker table. You limped into this pot with several others holding the five and six of spades and saw a promising flop of ace five king with two spades. You missed on the turn and now it's down to you and this other player who just bet six dollars into your draw. So it's six dollars to call into a twenty-four dollar pot which is exactly four to one pot odds. You count your outs as nine spades but you also think you can win with one of the two remaining fives or three remaining sixes. So altogether that is fourteen outs and since we've done this before you should be able to instantly recognize that you are priced into call because your pot odds are 4 to 1 and the odds against you to win the hand are only 2.3 to 1. But let's extend that to EV in terms of money. Over a thousand beers, I mean hands, you will win that $21 pot 303 times and lose your $6 call 697 times when your draw does not come home for you. So even though you will lose this hand most of the time, you can see that you make money on this play because the pot odds are dictating that you call every time. 
Average that 2181 over a thousand hands and your positive EV for this play is $2.18 every time you're in the hand. Now I hope you can see how this works because the more positive expectations you play in poker, the more likely it is you will become a profitable player. So are you curious as to what happened in this hand? Did your hand win or not? The answer is actually in the EV that we just discussed. And since you know this is a positive EV, then the answer is, it really doesn't matter if you won this time or not. The answer lies in you making a long-term positive EV play. All right then, thanks for the beers you got me thinking about. And to see more poker tutorials just like this one, visit the Poker School at pattypowerpoker.com.